Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 26, recording this on a Saturday morning. Uh, well, Saturday afternoon, actually. Uh, Leeds picked up their first three points of the Premier League season with a 4-3... Um, I'm not going to say thriller, but a 4-3 win over Fulham today. So, uh, pretty happy with that. Putting up a uh, week two... Uh, review of the match uh, on the channel here in a few minutes and uh, so hopefully you've had a chance to check that out not sure if you guys are interested but you know it's my my take on uh, my club and how they performed and just some thoughts and ideas um, with the little bit of knowledge that I have of the game uh, let's see we played Fulham and Cardiff last episode so coming out of that we had a 2-1 win over stoke adam ida and kai kennedy with the goals in the first half uh, then we had a 1-0 win over birmingham as ida scored again barnsley we were favored and we ended up losing 1-0 i think we just lost our focus and concentration and that brings us into the home stretch the final month of the season southampton top of the table and Leeds fighting against relegation. We actually did take over top of the table prior to the Bur uh, Barnsley match, and then that dropped us back into third position. We're only one point off the top of the table, however, so that is something that we can take some hope from. And, of course, Barnsley's right there behind us, so they weren't going to be an easy game by any stretch. Interesting news. If we take a look, let's go look at Cardiff and their head coaches. Uh, they do have a head coach in place, but he is a caretaker for two days. I'm assuming he's interim, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. We were actually rumored to be the leading candidate and I shut that down when I was approached by the media. But it's very strange. They sacked Steve Morrison and then hired Alex Neal. This was earlier this year when I said I had interviewed, got offered the job, and then we decided against it, all of us. So... They, he has left, and he has taken the job at Rangers up in Scotland. So that's what's going on with him. We have made a few signings. Let's take a look at those. Nobody on here, but this is going to be future signings. They've had the release day. We've got a bunch of guys in on trial. We've made offers out to several of them. They're all young young players that will go into our U18s, U23s, and be possible future players. So we have five guys joining us, all under the age of under the age of 19. So we have uh, one striker, o Odane Henry is going to be more of an attacking player. We have two midfielders, one a left side. Uh, left winger, one in the central mid, defensive mid slot, and a new young goalkeeper. Uh, you can see the clubs they come from, Man City, Liverpool, and what have you. Today we are playing top of the table, so let's get to it. Pills is still working on his match sharpness. He's been back for two matches, and uh, he has been doing his best to get back up to speed. And hopefully... He can do that. They're parking the bus seven behind the line. Helder Costa, former Leeds player, currently playing on the wing out there. Oh, hold on. What's happened here? I have not had another save issue since last episode when we had when we resaved. I have posted over at the SI forums. They asked me for some information. I got that back to them this morning. And it looks like there's quite a few people posting bugs 
over on the forum since the update the other uh, yesterday morning good header down don't play with it my oh that's brutal Nathan Redmond his eighth of the season all right we're gonna have to go up to positive who blew that was that Rawson no it was Nico Williams the right back yeah, you just got to get rid of that ball, man. Just get rid of the ball. That was not the right option. Let's uh, get creative. Pretty quick first half. And we really need to probably pull a point from this. We cannot let points slip away. Ask him to watch his step. All right, let's demand more. Oh, my God. Kevin Danso, his third of the season. All right, we're going to have to turn it up to attacking now. Set piece goal. We have just been outplayed this time, and I think Kennedy is being sent off. That is going to be a second yellow, and he is out of there. All right, let's convert over here. And Adams, box to box, deep line playmaker. Let's put White in the middle, and then we're going to make him the central mid on support. Actually, we're going to put him central mid on attack. Not boating well for us here in the early going. Wharton with the deep throw. Forster pulls that one in. Nobody there. Make the run. Pills on the ball. Laid back to Nico Williams in the box. Man, we really needed that one to have a chance. I wonder, he might have been offsides. Another one gets away from us. Uh, Collins is playing a 6-2. And we're playing in a number 10 role now. Let's put Ashley Hunter up there. Ebu Adams. I'm going to pull Pilge off. He's frustrated. Let's bring in a Bakare on. We're going to ask him for some passion. We're going to have to go up to positive again. I don't think if we're going to try to take anything. I mean, if we lose, it really doesn't matter by how much if we drop the points. I would love to see something transpire. Helder Costa looking dangerous again. And our keeper was looking a little flat-footed there. He's done a good job. White into the box. And that goes wide of the mark. That's uh, a little early. Actually, I think everybody's in pretty good fitness. Williams is tired. Maybe we can pull him off. Let's bring on Liam Shepard, see if he can do anything. And let's show some passion down the final few minutes of the game. Looks like this one's going to get away from us. Good tackle attempt. Oh boy, Costa is just really looking dangerous for them today. It's got to be that former Leeds player thing, right? So that's going to be a rough loss. We got dominated in that one. Uh, let's see. We're going to be assertive. I'm not happy with your performance. We did have a player sent off, so we're going to lose him for a few games. 
entity is suspended and that drops us to well now we're four points off three behind Bristol City and Leeds Leeds are Leeds <laughs> I don't think they need to win this match but they still have something to play for. All right, we'll be back for Leeds in just a second. Well, we've had our new intake of youth players, and as one would expect with our below average youth system, they suck. <laughs> They're not good at all. I don't think I'm going to sign any of them. This guy, Craig Spice, might be the only player. Ugh, that's just brutal. He's actually not a bad left back. Maybe he could develop into something. But, yeah, I, I don't see much in the way of talent there. I'll have to look at him a little more in depth. But maybe Diaz and Spice, and I think that'll be it. Uh, oh, we did get uh, the board gave us two new scouting slots. So we've hired two new scouts. Uh, if we take a look at our staff here, we hired uh, who? Now I don't remember. Rossi. Yeah, Rossi's the Italian, and Harvey is Northern Irish. Uh, he was the best scout available, so I took him. And then uh, Rossi wasn't the, he wasn't the best. He was actually the second best that responded to my ad, but he was Italian, which opens up a new area for us from a scouting perspective because we don't have, you know, we don't have great knowledge of Italy, but it's now comprehensive. So we might start seeing, in fact, I've already seen a couple of Italian players come through in the scouting and you can see Northern Ireland Ireland has popped up in here as well. So that's good. And that's something if you don't do it in your game, make sure that you are spreading your talent uh, as far as their scouting knowledge, because that's basically free scouting of players that if you, if you're in England side, let's say, you know, League Two or Nat Vanarama level, if you only have England scouts, all they'll know is England for the most part, and you'll lose out on basically free scouting just from the knowledge of players that your your scouts have. So, And coaches are the same thing. You can have coaches that uh, bring in that uh, experience as well. And we have gotten a job interview request from Birmingham. Birmingham are in the relegation. I think I'm going to decline that interview. Strangely, I'm getting more job interview requests in this save than I usually get in a journeyman save, right? <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. All right, let's go with that. We have Definitely got to pull three points today at my club Leeds's expense. But that is how the game goes. So we are going to ask for some early creativity. Leeds gets the first shot. Sales high. We need to do something. Oh, you know what? We do need to go up. We're going to go up to attacking right from the get-go. And we have a slight injury potential. Yeah, let's go ahead and sub him out. Ugh, that's not good. Let's bring Adams up. You know, Liam Shepard can play defense. He's got, he's got marking. I'm thinking he might be able to do the job. But Kitching is a yeah, Kitching is more natural. And we'll switch him to a defending position. Hopefully he can play out of position there. 
I am watching uh, Wharton. Wharton looks like he took a knock. Uh, we are going to demand more here. Leeds gets another highlight. And it's a pretty non-eventful half here. Let's think about tactics. Let's take that off. And let's try to work the ball into the box. That'll be my thinking there is some more select shot options and then a little bit more passing uh, demand more they are certainly up for it I'm gonna dial it back to positive because we're just not not doing a lot here Back to the keeper. Rawson heads it down. That was poor. We've got some pressure. I'm not liking the highlight. Ontiveros beats the defender. Oh my god, he had to have been offsides. Thank you. That was a blistering pass, though. Very leads like with that pass through. And just like Patrick Bamford or Alioski, usually just a step off sides. All right, Wharton, you are dragging. Let's bring Shepard on for you. We've already made, we're, we're close, we're close here. Freer is struggling. I'm going to bring on Ashley Hunter and see if he can unlock something up top. Demand more. Okay. Kiko Casilla. Oh, there's a nice through ball. Hunter's on to it. And he beats Casilla to the back post. That's his fifth of the season. What a shot. What a ball by Ibu Adams. Uh, tactics, we are going to jump in here and slow the pace down. And let's check play for set pieces. Because I've never done that, but I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, that's where you run the ball into the corner, go for the throw in, and that was a big win for us. Very nice. Uh, we're going to be passionate. I think we got lucky as hell, but that was that was very, very good. Southampton and Bristol City have made the playoffs. Eka Bakari is out six to eight days. Hunter with the game-winning goal. Very good. All right, they've secured playoffs. We're right on their tail. I want to see the, I mean, Southampton's just been in good form. We've got the two back-to-back -back losses, which has hurt us, but we're still right there. I think we're sitting really good to make sure we're in the playoffs, but it would be really nice to be able to snag, even if it's that second position, right? That's got to be the target. We close with Swansea. 10th position, Derby 12th, Rotherham 5th, and Luton 21st. So we, you'll kind of have an idea of what's going to be happening when we come back, I'm, I'm sure, next episode. I'm going to play Swansea and Derby, and then we will either do, I'll, I'll evaluate where we're at. If we have a shot to catch automatic promotion, we'll come back for both matches. If we don't, we'll come back. In fact, I might just skip and come right back for the playoffs. So, anyway, we'll see you next time. Guys, thanks for coming by. Hit that like button. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, you may have noticed I've gone to daily updates, at least for the time being, just with the excitement of the, of the chase here at the end of the season. 
trying to get through the season and get these episodes up for you guys and for me because I want to see what happens. So we will talk to you next episode and see where we are going. Have a good one. Bye.